The clock exercise is my foundation for balance exercises. You picture your feet like a clock, with your toes being 12 o'clock, your heels being 6 o'clock, left foot is 9, and right foot is 3. You practice with eyes open and eyes closed, trying to hold for 2 seconds at 12 o'clock, curling your toes into the ground, and then slowly proceeding to 6 o'clock with your weight in your heels, and then try to find the middle. 9 and 3 o'clock, again with eyes open and eyes closed, trying two to three reps. This will come in handy with all of the other balance exercises as you try to maintain the middle of your clock or the middle of your feet. This beginner exercise is Romberg with feet together. Stand with your feet together, 30 seconds, eyes open, eyes closed, and you can also progress that to the foam pad where it challenges the vestibular system more. Continuing with the foam pad, we can do lunges where you hold two seconds each position, alternating legs, and try to work on your core and preventing falls backwards. Next, we can do slow taps where you alternate shifting your weight and try to touch so lightly that you don't use your toes for support. With the next two exercises, I want you to think about how fully and how engaged you can lift yourself up from the ground, keeping your entire body lifted and in control. With the slow march, you're doing the same, lifting your carriage up as high as you can and engaging all your muscles. When something becomes too easy, you can always add head motions or arm reaches to add an extra element of challenge. Exercising with full body engagement can really lend itself to controlling your body when you feel dizzy or unsteady. Think about this as you complete all your exercises. Habituation exercises are meant to desensitize your brain from being dizzy with motions that you use throughout the day. So here I'm demonstrating bending forward, reaching up, always moving my head with my hands. So that adds extra activation of the vestibular system. Pick a speed that's comfortable for you. You wanna do five times each move every day until your brain no longer feels dizziness with those tasks. This exercise is really good for all over core, hip, ankle, and knee stability. Make sure, again, you tighten up your core, use small little motions as you try to keep your balance on one leg keeping yourself grounded and lifted high. The last few exercises show the importance of dynamic balance, meaning changing directions, weaving through obstacles, and being able to navigate busy crowds or busy environments. So remember, we have a mix of static, meaning still and controlled, versus dynamic, meaning agile and ability to change directions. Now, first thing I will say is total, I want you to shoot for 20 to 30 minutes of balance exercises each day. Second thing, always safety first. So everything that I do is modifiable. You can always have a chair. You can always have your hands out to touch something. And as you improve, you take away some of that pressure from your hands. So safety first. And number three, when you do your balance exercises, I want you to do it with intention. With balance exercises, the whole goal is to think about your intention with the exercise. I need you to engage your muscles, I need you to carry yourself high, and I need you to think about what your feet are telling you. Do I feel like I'm steady? Do I feel like I'm grounded? Or do I need to make corrections? And that is the key to improving your balance. Be intentional about these exercises, not about just completing them. Hopefully you found this helpful. Until I see you next week, stay healthy, stay steady, and stay strong.